What's going on everybody? It's Alex here from Alex Physio. So today we're going to be talking a little bit about deadlifts. So for the purposes of this video, we're going to show you how to do a deadlift with a dumbbell. But obviously once gym's open, you know, doing it with a conventional bar is going to be a little bit different. But nonetheless, the principles and the form uh, and the mechanics are going to be very similar. So I'm going to show you three different types of ways that you can do these deadlifts just using a dumbbell. And if you don't have a dumbbell at home, you can grab something that weighs, you know, 10 to 15 pounds, depending on your fitness level um, or where you're at, or you can even just start with doing it body weight. Before we even start to lift any weight with the deadlift, we have to know the mechanics and kind of how to move to set up for the deadlift. And the main thing is a hip hinge. Okay, so what a hip hinge basically is, is instead of breaking at your knees first or bending at your knees first, you're going to think about pushing your bum back. And as you push your bum back, your torso comes forward, okay? So that's just the start point, just working on pushing your bum back, bringing your torso forward, and then when you, when you push your bum back, bring your torso forward, and you come back to the start position, you're trying to squeeze your glutes okay so just work on that for a few repetitions so bum back body forward squeeze the glutes okay that's level one you can do that as a warm-up once that's okay then we're going to build on adding some weight so here what we have is a 40 pound dumbbell but you can again use whatever you have at home and we're going to start with the dumbbell lengthwise and the reason it's lengthwise and why it would make it easier is that it reduces the amount of range of motion that you need to go through in order to pick up the weight so we're going to start off by having our feet about hip width apart toes pointing straight ahead okay you're going to push your bum back body forward just like how we did with the warm-up Okay, you're gonna have your arms straight and you're gonna think about screwing your tricep muscles right up against your torso to generate a little bit more tension in your lat muscles, which will again, just help with doing the exercise. Okay, so you're gonna squeeze your triceps against your torso, okay, arms straight, you're gonna grab the weight, chin tuck, okay, lift and drive your hips through. Okay, so let's do that again. So knees are bent to about 45 degrees. Again, most of the movement is through the hips, okay? So chin tuck, lift, and squeeze the bum, okay? I'll show another angle. So bum back, body forward, chin tuck, touch, and drive through. Bum forward, or bum back, body forward, and drive through, okay? That's level two. Level three, now we're gonna start with the dumbbell horizontal. And the reason why this is the most challenging of the three is that you need to go through a further range of motion in order to pick up the dumbbell. And as a result, because the muscles are stretched more, they're gonna to have to generate more strength to be able to return back to the start position. So the more hip bend that you're in, the more your glute muscles and your hamstrings have to generate uh, force to be able to propel you back to the start position. So similar setup, except you're gonna bring your feet a little bit wider, okay? So feet pointing straight ahead, toes a little bit wider than shoulder width, okay? Bum back, arms straight. You're gonna pick up the weight and drive your hips through, okay? So come down and drive your hips through. Okay, just a side angle, okay? You're gonna put your bum back and drive your hips through. Bum back, body forward, drive your hips through. Notice for this one, I'm not going all the way down because you just get to a certain point and you're getting, I mean, you could just depending on your mobility, but even start stopping a few inches shy, you're still getting a lot more range of motion versus when the dumbbell is vertical. So give those exercises a go. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, and uh, you know, let me know on any ideas that you have about other exercises that you would like me to demonstrate. And thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next videos. And we'll see you later.